What's going on everyone? Today I want to discuss a firmware update issue I had on the Raspberry Pi 4. This way, if you have this issue, you might find a little way to work around it. I'm going to show a screenshot here of what was all installed at the time when the issue happened. The issue was when I rebooted the Raspberry Pi, I had no USB ports that were working and nothing was allowing me to do anything. It didn't matter if it was a wired keyboard, a wired mouse, wireless, it didn't matter. So I'm I'm going to go ahead I'm going to bring that up and give you a little look all right so here we go this is what I installed before the USB ports and everything decided not to work so as you can tell there's a lot of updates that were in this package here a lot of firmware files as well which is great as long as you can get it working afterwards which uh, usually it does but for this case it didn't do it for me so what I had to do was I had to remove the micro SD card from my Raspberry Pi put it on my computer and change that command line text file that I had uh, previously done up for the SSD boot which is under CD boot and it should be right here and that is the file I had a backup file I've got a few of them actually but those don't matter the command line text here I wanted to change one of my backup files here into the command line text. What I had to do there was just change the name of it on my computer and then come back and boot it up into the SD card. So if you haven't hit that subscribe button, make sure you do that now. Give it an old thumbs up as well. And then what I did after that was I ran the sudo apt get update, sudo apt get upgrade and the sudo apt get distro upgrade. This way on my, if, if it broke, it broke again and I knew there was an issue with the uh, update in general. But uh, installing those three on my micro SD card worked absolutely fine. I have uh, only a, a few files on there. Everything I have is backed up online so it's nothing I was worried about losing. The updates went fine. And then what I did after that was off of my SD card, we'll go to media here. And this should be my SD card, I do believe. Yeah. And all I did was on the SD card, this would be reversed, right? So the media here would actually be the SSD drive. So all I did from the SD card was once I updated everything, I just copied this folder here, uh, my Pi boot folder, into the SSD drive boot folder. So that would be up here now. And I pasted everything. So if I was on the S micro SD card right here, I would have all this stuff listed. And then I would just select it all, right click, copy it, go down to my media which would be my SSD drive then I would just paste it into this folder here I usually just go to this one here that way I get a little space and then click on paste and then all I had to do after that was I had to change my command line text to re uh, to boot up to the uh, SSD drive again and I was hoping it would work and lo and behold it worked I was able to boot up the Raspberry Pi again and have full mouse support again with uh, whatever files were in that folder that may have been corrupted or didn't update properly after I pasted that all that in there I had to change the command line text again to boot from my SSD drive so that was just sudo in the boot folder sudo nano cmd line dot txt and then that'll bring up this one and this is where once again I would change this guy here back to what it needed it to be and then what I did was I just changed that command line text in both the micro SD and the SSD drive so I went to this one then I went to the other one so I would have went 
CD media and then CD pi and CD boot and then here it is again here and this is where I changed the command line again now after I did that I rebooted once booted up I did the sudo apt-get update and upgrade and distro upgrade on the Raspberry Pi I didn't do the distro upgrade the first time around when I was on the SSD drive. It did install the new icons and random little things, but all the firmware stuff was already installed. That is how I managed to get back to my desktop that I've been using and able to use it again without having to wipe everything and restore it. Now it took me a while to get it down, uh, it took me a couple hours of messing about uh, and trying to figure out what to do first. Now I got it. It's done. And that's how I did it. If you want to know more, click the link in the description below. I'll link it to my post on element14.com where you can check out all the command line functions and another explanation of how I went about this. So make sure to like this video, hit that subscribe button. Thank you for watching everyone. You have a wonderful day, a wonderful week, and we'll see you next time. Take care, eh?